This is a video on how to set up a sequence on the Vitrec 952 analyzer. We're going to set up on this one a ground bond test followed by a high pot test. When you want to start a new sequence you press the button over here it's the second one down marked new. It will come up with a display of the sequence number which in this case is number one and it will always go to the first available sequence number and you can change that number if you wish. So we're going to press enter and then it will have black squares going across here. That's so that you can name the file. Now you can name it by pressing the up down arrow keys and in this case we just want to mark this as test scrolls through the alphabet and then if you want to keep on scrolling it'll go into the lowercase letters. We'll just call ours test. Press the enter button and it will start with sequence number one, step number one. It's going to ask you what type of test you want to run here. In this case we're going to run an easy ground bond test so we're going to choose GBEZ which is, stands for easy. And so we'll just scroll through them until we get to the GBEZ. Now that would be at in this case 25 amps. You can change this to whatever type of test that you would want with the number keys and do a 30 amp test or whatever your particular requirement is and then it's going to be at 60 Hertz which is usually what most people test it at. The dwell would be how many seconds that you want to stay at that particular level. In this case we're going to do 10 seconds. Then you choose the range that you want your test to be read in in ohms. In this case it's milliohms with a small m standing for milli. So we're going from 0 to 150 milliohms and it should be between those particular areas. So then you press enter and on fail you want it to stop so we're going to leave it at abort sequence. The other option would be to continue which would continue with other uh, tests in the sequence in this case we want it to stop in case there's an error. Then you come back up here and it comes to the number one so you want to change that now to the second step which would be number two. Sequence one, step two. Now this one we're going to do a high pot test and we want to do uh, an AC high pot test so we're going to choose ACEZ which is the easiest form of that and this tells us the voltage you can put in whatever voltage in this case we're going to do 1200 volts at 60 Hertz and you can also change the frequency and we want to take uh, three seconds to get up to that particular uh, voltage and so uh, three seconds is what we would choose the dwell is how long we want it to stay there we want it to stay for 10 seconds and the limit would be the current between certain values okay so zero is the lower limit and 10 milliamps would be the highest if you hit the enter key it will change from here to over to here so you can change that we want this to be a maximum of one milliamp on fail you want it to abort the sequence again because you don't want it to continue and it comes around to step two now in order to save that you mer merely press the exit save button and that's the end of sequence one. When you want to play that back and use that test you press select and then it will scroll through the various different tests that you have and you choose test number one, press enter, press start to, to run test sequence one so you press the green button to start it. This is going through a test right now. I have it hooked up to a 100 milliohm lead and you can see that it's running 100.5 milliohms and then it's doing the high pot test and we have 
virtually no leakage at all. It's in the nano amps right here. And then when it's finished, it's done. When you get to the end of this test, it will display the, the last uh, values of the uh, items that you want. This is the step one value that it came to, which is 100.5. If you hit the up button, it'll go to step two and tell you that it was 177.0 nanoamps. So it can tell you the result of what you're doing.